right, before we go ahead and flash a new ROM on here, one of the most important things you're going to want to do is back up all of your settings um, and data from your application so you don't have to go through all that when you install a new ROM. If you put the new ROM on and you like it, you're going to want to save time with this. So I'm using a paid version of Titanium Backup. And one of the first things you want to do, obviously you're going to per give it uh, root access, which I've already done. And you're going to want to click on the Problems button here and upgrade the newest BusyBox just to make sure it's up to date. I've already done this, but I'm going to show it to you. Uh, after that, you're just going to close out. you just got to go back in. Uh, once you're in here, one of the things you're going to also want to do is under Settings, you're going to want to make sure you have AutoSync on. Uh, this way, any subtle changes that have been missed on, on a reboot or reflashing will be updated. Uh, the last thing we want to do, and this is pretty important with the dual uh, SD cards. You have an internal, which would be the tablet memory. It's considered an SD card on this device. You can also do an external. And if you have an external card, you're going to want to tell it to save there in order to avoid problems. If you wipe the tablet memory, uh, you want it to be on a card, a removable media. The other option, obviously, is Dropbox, which is extremely popular. And I would also recommend, if you have a Dropbox account, that's what I would do. It's also nice to have something available to you uh, on a physical medium. OK, so we're going to go right here where it says Backup Settings. And we're going to go to Backup Folder Name. And we need to change this to SD Card 2. Slash SD Card slash titanium backup. And that's pretty much all you got to do now. It'll save everything onto the external memory card. Now we're good to go. At this point, all we really have to do is go back to the, the menu settings here and pull up the setting preferences and go to batch. And for the first time through, you're going to want to use backup all user apps and system data. It's going to take a long time the first time through. Go ahead and select all. Run batch operation. Let it do its thing. And after it does it the first time, uh, later on when you do it, it'll only save certain things. And the beauty of this program is you can, you know, certain apps, if you want to do individually or if you want to do all at once, it's, it's a really powerful program and it saves you a lot of time. All right, backup is finished. At this time, if you have a Dropbox account, uh, you should be able to go in here and sync with Dropbox. Um, not entirely sure. I don't, I don't, I'm not going to do that because for what it's worth, um, I'm going to go ahead and use my USB cable, plug it into my computer, and take the information off my SD card just to be double safe and back it up on my computer. Now, should I accidentally format the SD card or, it, you know, fail or break or whatever, uh, or even wipe the internal memory, I'll have it on my computer. I can always bring it back and restore all of my data. Now, there's no fear in flashing any ROM you want. All right, it's time to get gingerbread on this tablet. But first, you know, uh, like I said, we just did titanium backup, all the data and apps have been backed up and we're going to go into recovery. I've already transferred on here the vegan tab gingerbread and the current per shoot kernel which is going to allow for uh, overclocking somewhere between 1.4 and 1.6. I've been reading about it but uh, it just came out today so or I should say yesterday so been a little hesitant to do all this and if you're wondering why I'm not doing cyanogen mod it's a little bit of a long story and I'll explain it in the blog so I'm going to try and keep this video short but when you go into recovery obviously you're going to want to back up I've already done that just to save time but real quick you know you just go here to back up and restore and back up and in this case I've already done that so go ahead and make your backup to be safe then you'll have titanium backup has all your apps and data and within clockwork recovery mod you have the OS or I should say the ROM backed up so right now we're going to go ahead and apply zip from SD card update what well, we're going to choose the one we want and of course if you've seen some of my videos you know I have an update zips folder and in this case we want CM uh, excuse me vegan gingerbread 7.0 and let's go ahead and do that and hang on for this now, I didn't have to stop the video, as it turns out the update was very quick. Um, now, we need to wipe factory data reset, wipe cache, and Dalvik, with no exceptions here. Um, we need to make sure we do all of that, so let's make sure we take care of that right now. Let's go ahead and first wipe factory data reset. 
And again, there's no real worries here with titanium backup. And for what it's worth, any serious data you care about should not be on the tablet when doing stuff like this. I mean, important photos or documents, I mean, that stuff should be backed up on your own computer. Okay. And now let's go ahead and wipe, fact, wipe cache. And the last thing will be under advanced is wiping Dalvik. Now, once we're done doing this, uh, I'm told, or it says on the forum, that this could take five minutes to uh, boot the first time. And once it's done, you, you need to reboot immediately after that. So let's first do the first reboot and see how long it takes. I'm not going to record all of this, but uh, I'm going to turn the camera off now. Of course, I should have had the camera running. It was kind of a cool new animation for uh, Gingerbread Vegan Tab, so I kind of turned it on as quick as I could. Um, pretty dramatic, <laughs> um, but I guess for what it's worth. All right, so I'm going to go through the real... I'm just going to get this done real quick because, um, from what I understand, I'm going to skip this for now. I can do this later. What's important is letting this thing initially get set up, and then we need to reboot right away. fine. Oops. It's definitely fast. Um, Alright, so from what I'm told from the forum, we need to reboot, and I, my battery's pretty low. I'm going to plug in at this time as well, but um, I'm actually just going to reboot back into this right here. So let's just do a quick reboot. Okay, that was pretty fast that time. Okay, so um, looks like we're in there. This must be the new lock screen, so... There you go. Um, or that. <clears throat> Real snappy. Um, I can say I definitely like it so far. Um, we can check to see if the market's working without any doing real fix. Of course, I need to sign in, so just wait for Alright. Well, there you go. The market works. No fix from the off the bat. As um, you can see, I mean, I, I signed in and everything's working well. So one of the things I noticed is that none of the Google applications are on here, Gmaps, uh, Gmail, so you're going to have to go to the market and get them, and as you notice, it's got the thumb keyboard, which is great, um, even though I'm not holding it right now, I'm going to just do search for Google, just use both thumbs here, and so obviously we're going to have to do a real quick um, bulk or batch, if you will, installation. Um, I need Google Voice, I need all this stuff. But it's really easy, I'm on an end network, it's going to go real fast. Uh, there you go. So I'm going to go ahead and set up the Google Apps real quick. Now another nice feature about Gingerbread is that it already is going to work with Flash, but you do have to go install 10.2 from the market, and I'm going to show you that right now. You don't have to do any fancy fix this time, so we'll go to the market. And while we're in the market, we'll go ahead and search for Flash. And it'll come up. 10.2 right there. Let's go ahead and install that real quick. <coughs> All right. And while that's installing, we'll go ahead and just use the default browser built in here. Go to CNN. I'm going to try and play it right now. It's going to tell you you need to have Flash. So unless it that updated that quickly. Let's just try going to the video page. I see the check mark up here, so I know it could very well be working right now. <laughs> there you go. All right, in order to restore all your backups with Titanium Backup, the one thing you'll notice is you don't have titanium backup. You're going to have to sideload it, so you'll have to have the APK somewhere that's saved before um, when you initially installed it. Um, so in my case, um, I've sideloaded already Sniffer. It's from the Norton Inc. Uh, set of programs. I like it. It's a great interface for tablets. And I'll just show you real quick. You know, I'll just take my titanium backup APK right here. Go ahead and reinstall it. should just take a second. Once it's open, you're going to have to allow root access. And he did. And once that's happened, again, click on Problems, let it download the latest BusyBox. 
and it'll close itself, which is no big deal. Let's go back in here now, and uh, you're good to go. At this point, it's you're going to want to go and back up and restore, and find all your programs, and you can do a batch, pretty much batch. And you don't want to do system data. It's important that you don't do system data. So all you're going to do is you're going to look for restore apps with data. Now you can do all. But in here, of course, you can deselect and then just go through and find the ones you care about. For instance, your ever-important saved Angry Birds games or whatever it is. Uh, you go through here and click on one, and um, it'll take care of it for you. So, again, I'm not going to show you every single one of my apps right now. I'm more concerned with going through uh, Gingerbread Edition and showing you what you need to know. But for now, that's, that's it. I'll show you overclocking in the next video.